Yo everybody, hope you guys are doing well today. We've got a 2 for 1 special this time with two reactions for Tekken 8. I did say in my Lee reaction that I was going to do both Elisa and Safina because I actually didn't do those um, originally. So yeah, this video is just kind of to make me catch up to those reactions and then we've got Devil Jins as well. Um, which funnily enough actually dropped while I'm recording this, so we have, we've got that to look forward to as well. Um, yeah, let's just get straight in. We're gonna look at Elisa's first here, and then we will look at Safina's. Alright, here we go. Man, all these characters look so much better in comparison to T7. Elisa as well. Oh damn. Rocket arms? Chainsaws, yep. Got a hell suit from that as well? <laughs> Choose the head as a freaking <laughs> tail flip, okay. Oh, sick. <laughs> just Jack just yates it back. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, cool. I don't know much about this character, but okay. There's a lot of chainsaws going on. Okay, her own head is a heat engage. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Sick. New chainsaw moves, I think. Yeah, that's definitely some crazy combos potential. Okay. I've seen the rage. Oh, it's actually quite hilarious. In a sense. She literally does, like, a jet shot with her own head. <laughs> For anyone who's played FF10, you'll know what that is. The jet shot. And that's a wrap. Bro, that stage is going to be crazy. That's definitely going to be, like... In the story with like Devil Jin and Devil uh, Kazia. Um, I'll look through it here and there, but I don't know much about this character. I think moving on, I don't want to break down trailers completely for a character I don't really know because it just feels like I'm padding the video for the sake of padding it, which doesn't really make sense uh, for myself. So we'll do that from now on. I won't look at this much uh, with a breakdown, I'll look at bits and pieces. When looking back at this with a quick glance, there definitely seems to be more of an emphasis on, like, the chainsaws and rockets aspect of the character. Uh, you can even see here, like, again, like, I don't recall that ever being a move in Tekken 7. Uh, if we uh, go to... Where was it now? Let's go here, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, chainsaw there, so that seems like a heat engage. Yep. So, plus frames into heat engage. Uh, heat smash there. Using a head. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. Uh, I was just uh, right here. Yeah, here you go. Like some more chainsaw moves. It's really cool, you know, like adding the, like more emphasis on that particular thing. And also this as well. So with this stage, it's it's you get like the explosion and like a combo extension without it being on the wall. So it definitely feels like a mid-screen um, version. Or I don't know if it's like specific parts of the floor that activate that. Um, so it's quite interesting, actually. And then, of course, the um, the jet shot that I mentioned. It, it just rem That's the first thing that came to my mind when I first saw this rage art. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't think this is a character that I'm going to play personally. But I know a lot of people who currently play the character and maybe also new players that want to play the character are looking forward to it. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to break down this trailer. I don't know her move, so I'm not going to... Like I said earlier, I'm just not going to waste people's time with that and my own. Uh, so let me boot up Safina's trailer and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got Safina's trailer here. Let's just jump straight into this. See what we have this time. Get ready for the next battle. Mystic Stargazer. Yeah, her design Ninja. looks really good. Your fate is already decided. Ooh. This is actually one of the things that I really wanted um, for Safina in this game, like using more of Azazel's like arms, like arm attacks, sorry. So more emphasis on that with her left hand. Yeah. 
sigillo è arrivato al limite. Sick, that's cool. Ooh, that's guaranteed. Yeah, this is sick. This is cool. Yo, that's really cool. The fact that she's like using the arm more like that is really awesome. Because we had that a little bit in Tekken 7 with the Rage Drive. So the fact that they're actually like going more into that kind of direction is actually really cool. Bro, the way she just like materializes Azazel's like arm and then crushes the opponent, that's cool. I get some like Nero vibes from like Devil May Cry 4. Yeah, that's badass. That's badass. That is really cool. Let's see if we just go back to here. Hang on a minute. Yeah, she's cool. I do think she has like and again, just like Tekken 7, she had an amazing redesign. Um, from obviously from Tekken 6 to Tekken 7. And again, I think they've nailed it with her. Definitely one of the best designs in the game, in in my opinion. And yeah, just going back to the trailer here, is like the fact that they're incorporating more of like Azazel's arms into her move list, like I said earlier, I think that is a really cool direction. Um, this is actually something I wanted for the character in like a trailer like that came out earlier last year. I was going to say this year because it's still early uh, in January. But yeah, um, when they... It was that trailer that showed like a couple of characters... And we saw like the rage art a little bit. I did actually want them to incorporate that into the her uh, sorry into her move list and into like existing moves with, like new additions and stuff like that. So this is actually a really really cool addition to the character to make her a bit more unique and uh, more fun to play. Even here, uh, showing that with the dynamic intro with uh, Claudio and his, herself, really cool stuff. And then if we go back here, you go to see how it, like kind of like puts them in place. Similar to how her Rage Drive worked in Tekken 7, and then you get a guaranteed uh, extension there. So that's also part of a heat engage well with, with the arm, and then that's the heat smash. Looks all good. Um, let's have a look. Was there any other sense? Oh, there you go. I think, that's, I think that was a power crush. Was that a power crush? Let me actually slow this down. I should probably slow it down, actually. Uh, playback speed. Uh, we'll do 0 0.5. And that's just uh, the heat smash. Okay, so you got another heat engage there into the low. Yep, yeah, so power crush while in stance. There you go, another use of it. Uh, four, two, three. Into, I can't remember the name of all these stances. So, apologies, I don't know. Safina again. So, that's why I'm not really kind of breaking this one down as well. And then the rage art is really cool with the like materialization of like Azazel's actual arm to squish the opponent. I think this is actually sick. Really cool. Very Devil May Cry 4. Uh, maybe like Bayonetta vibes as well. But um, yeah, and her outro is really cool. I, I do think her and um, Reyna are the most expressive females in the game. Out of all of them. Yeah, that's sick. Look at that. That's really cool. I might actually give this character a go. I played her a little bit in Tekken 7, but I didn't really enjoy her as much as other people. But because, again, a new iteration of the character, I might even find her more enjoyable in this game. Uh, we'll see. We'll just see what happens. And, yeah, I'll wrap this up. And then there is one more trailer to react to, which is, of course, Devil Jin. Uh, I'll try and get that out as quick as I can as well. And, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you guys think of the character's trailers? And, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.